we're on, aren't we? Yep. So we're making scones today. Um, scone. Scone? Scone. Scones. Scone. I believe. All right, all you Brits out there, I'm sure we'll get a tongue lashing for mispronouncing <laughs> it. Scones. Scones. Um, I am making pear and vanilla scones. I want to say pear vanilla bean because normally I would use vanilla bean, but I'm in a bit of a hurry today. I don't even have the vanilla out here. I'll have to go get it. So we're starting with a three cups of flour. I already have that in my mixing bowl. And we're going to add half a cup of sugar. So we have three cups of flour. We're adding half a cup of sugar. Five tablespoons of baking powder. That's five. Half a teaspoon of salt. Instead of using a pastry blender and doing it by hand, I'm being super efficient and using my KitchenAid. So we're just gonna stir that up. Meanwhile, while that's stirring, I'm gonna cut up my butter into smaller chunks. I have three quarter cup butter. And it has to be really cold when you're making scones because you want it to have um, flaky bits inside. So while that's happening, I'm just gonna cut up my pear. I'm using a boss pear today. You can use whatever pear you have. I want the butter to be um, pea-sized. So we still, yep, this is it's actually quite fine. Now, maybe a little bit more. Okay, that should be good. I have one cup of cream. Add an egg to that. You can use whipping cream. Um, whipping cream will make it a little bit more buttery even, but I'm just using half and half. And I'm gonna add one egg, two teaspoons of vanilla, as you can see, I'm not really that accurate with all of my measurements, but it's fine, as long as you don't go overboard. I'm going to add that to the flour and butter mixture. And you want to stir this until it's moist. Okay, that's good. And we're gonna add in our pear. Give that a stir. And that is it. I'm just gonna clean up a little bit here and then we'll roll out the dough. So we're just going to knead it a little bit. Make sure that the pear is all in there. And that the dough comes together. And then I'm gonna split it into two balls. It's a little bit wet, but that's okay. We're gonna sprinkle some flour down. I want them to be about the same size, so this one's a little bit bigger. I'll just add some more over here. We're just going to make this into a round. And about half an inch thick. I also find with making scones that if it's raining out, um, the dough is actually more moist. So today it's a little bit wet out. So I might need a little bit more flour just to keep it from sticking to my hands. So we're gonna cut this into sixths. It's 
lined a sheet pan with parchment paper. And I'm just going to lay them on here. I want them to have at least an inch or two in between. All right, it's not pretty, but I got them all in one pan because I didn't want more than one pan in the oven. And we have a preheated oven at 400 degrees. And we're going to bake these for about 15 minutes. See ya. See you later, scones. 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 Oh, right. The door. Oh, Ta-da! So Not the, the prettiest things. No, but they're tasty. Yes. Um, it was a total of 18 minutes in the oven, not 15, so 18 minutes. And you want them golden brown. And they've been cooling in the pan for about 15 minutes. In one of my previous videos, I mentioned um, that we would try vlogging. And this is our first foray into vlogging, showing how we do life, how we spend our time, not just in the kitchen creating recipes, but going out on photo shoots or hikes with the family. Um, yeah, so I really hope that you'll enjoy um, our experience and let us know what you think. Oh, where did we go? Oh, we went up to Quarry Rock, went on a little hike, did a and photo shoot for a client. And we also took those scones. Oh, we also took those scones I made in the morning. They're super easy. So you can make them before you go on a little hike. I knew I should have wrote a script for you. <laughs> See, if you just ask me questions, I can answer. Right? Because I'm not a professional. <laughs> I hope you'll enjoy it. Let us know what you think. Flo, waiting for you. <laughs> yeah, right. Mom's always lagging behind. Isn't it true? At the pace we're going at, we'll get there maybe before sunset. So this is Quarry Rock, first time for you. Yeah. How is it? So far so good, out of shape. Hey, we made it. I did, and I made scones this morning. Oh, how sophisticated at the top of Quarry Rock. Hey buddy, how was the hike? Good. Glad you could jump. fast. Yeah, How much longer do you think we'll have to wait for them? 10 seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Yay, you made it. Fist bump. Oh, that's not a fist bump. You made it. Yay. We've been waiting here for an hour. <laughs> Whatever. How? <laughs> okay, our like semi-annually or annually or biannually or once every 10 years hike, family hike. Do you think we'll do it again? 
No horse. No. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> We're missing one. Oh, where is he? So, we should probably do it more often. No. Yes. No. Not a professional. You're not professional. <laughs>